So look. All right, man, look. I was listening to a song like earlier today. It was a clip, but I also heard this song a couple weeks ago, just on some like reminiscent shit, you feel me? And um, it's a song by Pitbull and Neo, and the song is called Time of Our Lives, right? And a very iconic line Pitbull said was, and this is gonna be the topic for the video. He said, this is for everybody going through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Y'all feel me? Hey, he spoke some truth, though. All right, so that's the video topic. You feel me? I might shorten it because that shit was just too long. But listen, every day above ground is a great day. Remember that, bro. You feel me? Let me repeat that shit. He said... This is for everybody going through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. So listen, man, I want you guys to understand how grateful you truly need to be. You feel me? You need to be extremely grateful to just breathe. You get what I'm saying? Now, death is not real. You know, you're a spirit before the flesh. So death is a transition to the other side, the spiritual world, okay? Don't fear death. But I understand it's a reason you're still here. You get what I'm saying? Like, I want y'all to really understand this shit. Like, because God is really removing people. Like, no cap. God is removing people. He's taking people's spirits up out of this realm. You feel me? He is taking people out of their vessel to go home. Go back to where they came from, the spiritual realm. Me and you ain't from here. We from the spiritual realm. Nigga, we chose to come into this physical realm. This ain't real. This shit temporary. The flesh is temporary, but our spirits is forever. So a lot of people is not staying you feel me? A lot of people is leaving quite early. Maybe because they aren't evolving. They aren't growing mentally, physically, spiritually. They aren't on their grind purpose. They aren't eating or taking care of themselves. A lot of shit is happening on a spiritual level. There's an evolution. Our DNA is changing. You get what I'm saying? Swear to God. Y'all know I made a video about my DNA changing and shit like that. That's why they're trying to get y'all these shots, right? We ain't gonna say what it is. It's to lock your DNA because they know that Everybody on the planet who's in tune with the sun, in tune with nature, in tune with themselves, is starting to become different beings. So check me out. Back to the video topic. I want y'all to appreciate and celebrate life every day, even through hard times. Because listen, every day above ground is a great day. Remember that, bro. You feel me? That was some real shit he said. Listen, you could have been dead, bro. But you still alive, no matter if you're struggling, no matter if you're going through it, bro. I want y'all to really be grateful and start appreciating the small things in life because if you can't even appreciate being alive, if you can't even appreciate breathing, bro, because it's beautiful just to be alive. You feel me? Now, you don't die. You transform. All right? I don't want y'all to keep thinking like death is the fucking end, bro. That's some shit they told us to scare us. Like, oh, you don't fucking die. Energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be what? Created or transferred. You are a being of energy inside the physical form. All right? Why do you think they say the eyes are the windows to the soul? Because you have a spirit inside your flesh, nigga. Feel me? The flesh is temporary. The spirit, nigga, the spirit never die. You transform to a whole nother form. I swear to God. So don't be scared to, scared to die, but I want you to understand that just to be here during these times and experience this great monumental thing, the fifth dimensional shift, it's a blessing, man. You chose to come here. Me and your soul, our souls have been preparing for this shit for lifetimes. You have no idea. Our soul, our spirit has been preparing for this moment for like thousands and thousands of years, bro. This not the first time me and you been here. Reincarnation is very real. Reincarnation is real, bro. It's real. A lot of these people y'all see walking around here, this ain't they first, and it ain't gonna be their last time being here. I hope you know that. Energy cannot be destroyed. Energy can only be created and transferred. Everything in life is energy, so you don't fucking die. Your spirit leave this temporary flesh, and you go back home where you came from. All right? I don't want y'all to think death is real. Death is a fucking illusion. You don't die, bro. You transform, though. Now, aside from that, man, every day above ground is a great day. Remember that because you're still here. You're still breathing. That means 
Your time is not up. It's not time for you to go. You get what I'm saying? You came here to do more. You came here to evolve into a divine being. Yes, death is not real, but I want you to understand, G. You are evolving into a new celestial organism. That's why the sun is changing your molecular structure from the inside out. The sun is changing the anatomy of melanated people and other indigenous beings on the planet. The sun is also changing the anatomy of all animals that are indigenous to this planet. I swear to God, certain birds is starting to evolve. Science is telling us this shit. Certain birds is starting to shape shift into bigger beings. I can't make this shit up. Oh God, science is telling y'all this shit. They, Cause look, the age of Aquarius is about the truth. So they have to tell y'all the truth now. Like it's impossible for them to lie because the lie is gonna get exposed. I'm telling you, God, the sun, that's God, bro. Okay, what you believe? Feel me? The sun in the sky is revealing everything, bro. The sun is revealing who me and you are. We are divine beings. Yeah, we might be spirit beings, but we're evolving into true divine spirit beings. That's what the DNA activation shit is. That's why they try to they try to target certain individuals and make them take because they they know that certain individuals are very powerful. You feel me? On oh God, they try to take they, they try to make people take that shot shit, right? I ain't gonna say it because they might censor the video. So it can stop your DNA from evolving because yeah, you might be a spirit inside the flesh, but you gotta understand your flesh, you're using the flesh so you can evolve into your true divine self, your spiritual form. This is your human form, bro. This is a human experience. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. So you're evolving, G, and that's why you're here. You came here to evolve into a new being, bro. So your time is not up. The sun and the sky is not done with you. The sun loves your progress. The sun loves your growth. You feel me? The sun is changing you from the inside out. The sun is making you bigger, stronger, healthier, smarter, intellectual. The sun giving you the abilities to read people's minds and shit. I got a video that you're going to see right after this one, boy. Cub, the sun is legitimately revealing everything. The sun is getting ready to reveal who you are. You are not this body. You have a whole different alias. You know, your ego name is whatever it is. Like, my name is Marco, right? But... This is the name the Matrix gave me. This ain't my real name. You get what I'm saying? This shit crazy, cuz. So, aside from that, right? It's the reason you still here. It's the reason you made it far. You, I said made it far. You made it this far during the end times. You think you just here to be here? Hell no, nigga. God is not done with you, bro. God needs you to continue to move forward and complete your mission. Yeah, the devil tried to take you out because... The devil knows who you are. The devil fears you. Satan said he fears you because you are a child of what? The Most High. You a child of God, bro. So God is not finna let you get up out of here like that. God gonna make sure you stay strong and steadfast on your journey, bro. God is evolving you, bro. The sun, that's God. That's the creator, bro. Without the sun, there is no life. Right. If the sun was to explode today, everybody on this planet would not be able to survive because the sun gives everybody life. How do you think plants, trees, animals are even... Because the sun is God. The sun is the giver of light. So the sun is evolving everybody on this planet and those who are not evolving, he's getting them out of here. Death ain't real, but they're not going to be here for the next dimension. They're not going to be able to experience their true selves. They're not going to be able to do what me and you're going to do in a minute. We're going to be able to fly, levitate, shape shift into different, different beings. What do you think the movie Marvel and all that shit was? You think these people just... You think these people just came up with that shit? Nah, bro. This is shit that... Us human beings, we're not humans, we're extraterrestrials. This is shit we used to be able to do. Like, levitate, fly, super speed, all that shit. That's what we used to be able to do. But our evolution had, we fell. Like, you know, we devolved. Instead of evolved, we devolved. So we lost a lot of our abilities. But during these times, God, the sun in the sky, is rejuvenating us. Making his children stronger again. So all those abilities that... We lost, we're getting them back. So if you can read somebody's mind, everyone can read somebody's mind during these times. If you like me, it's impossible for you to not know how people feel. You get what I'm saying? Right. 
you reading people's mind without reading people's mind, bro. No cap. So every empath, every being who's evolving, every indigenous being is getting DNA upgrades. So no one can hide. You may be getting stronger, faster. You, your reflexes may be on point because God is what? Resurrecting what? His children. Because we did die, I ain't gonna lie. This is not who we are. We were never humans, bro. We were supreme beings with the ability to build, create, this, that, and the third. Who do you think built the pyramids? After I explain this, I'm gonna go back to the top of the video. But who do you think built the pyramids? They say they have no machinery that's capable of building those pyramids. You know who built the pyramids? Our sky family, the extraterrestrial beings known as the Anunnaki. They can't even build the pyramids no more. They cannot reconstruct and do that shit the way it was done because supreme beings, extraterrestrial beings did that shit. They used dinosaurs, nigga. Y'all think dinosaurs don't exist still? You're dumb. The whole world gonna find out in the end because the truth now. Dinosaurs still exist. They never died off. No meteor never hit Earth, nigga. Earth never died, bro. No meteor wiped out dinosaurs, nigga. You feel me? There was no such thing as white cavemen because the first species on the planet was what? We so-called black people. So it's a lot of lies and deceit, but listen, there is no lies no more. The truth must come out. Why do you think, and I'ma just keep it real. That's another type of video, my bad. I'm so passionate about this shit because I really do care about my people and I care about other species as well because I know it's something bigger than what we think that had a hand in all this shit. So I'm not blaming other races because I love other races. I love white people, Spanish people. You know what I'm saying? I love my people for real, for real. So that's not what I'm saying, but I know the real history. So back to the topic of the fucking video, you feel me? That's a whole nother topic. <sighs> Your time is not up, all right? You didn't make it this far for no reason, Gene. My bad, I thought it was a bug on my shoulder. You didn't make it this far for no reason, bro. God, he has something planned for you, right? God is not done with you. Your time is not up, man. Trust me. God is taking people up out of here because he know their time is up. That means demonic people, people who are evil, they finna get wiped off because they don't belong here. That's why I say this is judgment day. So all these people who want to be demonic, be evil and shit, like I said, God is watching. He really is. The sun, nobody can run from the sun. Y'all don't get it. God is that sun in the sky. The sun in the sky is a living, breathing, conscious being. It's not just a ball of fire. That's what they didn't tell you. Yeah. That's what the ancient Egyptians, why you think they was holding the sun? They wasn't worshiping the sun. Actually, they was because they knew that was the damn creator. Nigga, the sun is the giver of life. They used to speak to the sun, talk to the sun, connect to the sun. Meditate with the sun because the sun heals. The sun is the truth, G. So, like I said, no one can run from the sun. The sun, the sun shines on everything. That's what the age of Aquarius is about. Nobody can hide nothing no more because the sun in the sky is revealing everything, bitch. No one can hide. So guess what? All these evil people who think they're getting away with something. Like, I, this shit is so deep. I made a video and I'm going to tell y'all, like, God is revealing everything. No one can hide no more. And God see everybody. So all these evil, wicked people who think they're going to get away with something and da, da, da. No, you're not because the sun in the sky see your fuck ass. The sun, God is recording everything, bro. And... Don't be surprised when you wake up and you not in this reality no more. You in a whole different realm because he's done. That's what this shit is, G. That's why if you are of the light, if you are a compassionate being, if you are loving, caring, if you really a good person, it don't matter what mistakes or sins you made personally, you here to stay, bruh. No, on God. You're here to stay. You feel me? God know everybody heart. God did not expect everybody on this planet to, G, to be a 100% angel. God did not expect every being on this planet to be pure angelic. He did not expect that. However, God knows your thoughts. God knows your heart. God knows how you feel. God knows what type of spirit you are. So God know who, who's righteous and who's angelic. God know who demonic. God know who 
wicked. God know everybody, bro. God know everything because it's God. And that's the sun in the sky. Nobody can run from the fucking sun. I can't run from the sun. No demons can run from the sun. That's why I said those who are truth of the truth, light warriors, people who are really good people to the core, no matter the mistakes they made personally, they gonna make it in the end. They're going to be successful. They're going to prosper. But those who are legitimately the most awful of the awful, now let me repeat that. God did not expect any being to be 100% good. That's facts. Balance. Everybody did wicked, horrendous things. Everybody did some shit they ain't proud of, right? But let me just tell you this, though. To the core of it all, God knows who you are, who I am, who the demons are. And he's seen everything. He's seen all the good you did in your life. He's seen all the bad you did in your life, right? Every being here. So don't be surprised if your whole life you was just straight an asshole, demonic. You was just green as fuck. You did the most horrendous shit to people. Don't be surprised if you wake up and you not on earth no more. You in a whole nother realm. So that's why... I'm telling you, God know everything, bro. God know everybody's heart. God know who's a good person to the core, who a demonic person to the core. So it don't even matter, G. You feel me? It does not matter, bro. It doesn't matter because only God can what? Judge you. And that's what this shit is, judgment day. Right. We're going to see who really evil. We're going to see who really wicked. We're going to see who really survive in the end. We're going to see who really becomes successful. And we're going to see who really prosperous in the end. The wicked or the righteous. We gonna see. Yeah. Come on, man. This shit real. So look. This is for everybody going through tough times. Believe me, been there, done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Because you ain't here just to be here. God is not done with you. Believe me. God is removing people. The sun. That's what's killing people. That's what this whole pandemic is about. God is judging people, man. God see everything. So in a minute, a lot of these demonic people, a lot of your so-called friends who you used to be with from the past, who just straight assholes, evil, wicked, witchcraft, sorcery, within this decade, I promise you, they will not be here. They will be gone, fam. That's what this shit is. Only the real will survive. Only empathetic people will survive. Not demonic people, assholes, satanic people, satanic worshipers, doing wicked shit, day in, done did, bro. God will only allow you to do so much wicked in your life. If it's too much wicked, if the wicked overshadows any of your good, you out of here, bro. So that's why it doesn't even matter. You feel me? It does not matter, G. God didn't expect nobody to be a fucking angel. He did not, bro. Right? The Bible says Jesus Christ died for our sins. So you could have did some awful shit, some wicked shit you ain't proud of. But... Guess what? You still was a good person because guess what? Nobody's fucking perfect. To the core, you was a good person, nigga. You was good. You did a lot of good deeds. You just sinned like how everybody else on this planet did, bro. But he knew your heart. He knew your mind. He knew your spirit, G. You feel me? He knew who you was, bro. He knew. He know you good, bro. So those who demonic and projecting to other people like they awful. Listen, these people going to get wiped out, man. We're going to see who really a good person because God see everything, bro. God seen all the good you did. He's seen all the bad you did your whole life. God has been watching everybody. The sun has been watching every being on this planet, nigga. So now we in the end times judgment day. Let's see who really was a good person their whole life. Let's see who really lived and did the right things no matter what mistakes they made personally let's see who really who in the end because that's what this shit is the revealing all right so listen you ain't here just to be here bro god got a special purpose for you your time ain't up but don't be surprised individuals from your past when you see that they, they not here or you hear they died or some shit it's because god is done with them wicked shit ain't gonna survive during these times it don't matter what you did in the past. If you know you was a good person, majority of your fucking life, oh, God ain't done with you. Feel me? Right, because God see everything. God know your heart, man. God know you was sorry. You get what I'm saying? Come on, bro. That's the truth, nah. Trust me, those who wicked, those who are assholes, those who have done so much wicked shit for decades of their life, manelliums, I'm just throwing that word out there, but those who have done so much wicked, 
and they ain't really do no good. They were just complete assholes to everybody, torturing everybody. These goddamn narcissists. I promise you, cuz, these people is not gonna make it. They not, cuz they awful. It ain't like, oh, they was legitimately, they did something awful and, and it was a mistake, or they just did it because they sinned. No, these people was awful on purpose, bro. So, Judgment Day. So listen, this is for everybody going through tough times. Believe me, been there and done that. But every day above ground is a great day. Remember that.